Let's take a look at a nice PowerPoint option of taking a boring flat image and making it look 3D. First of all, get your image, um, size it to the picture you want, and then you need to control D, make us a copy, because we're going to come back to that later. Right, so first thing I want you to do is click on the image, go up to picture formats and give it a border. Then it looks like a photograph while we're under there. Under the picture tools, I'd like you to crop it and crop it to a shape. And that shape will be, I like personally, the trapezoid, but you've got lots of choice because that to me already looks a bit 3D-ish. Now we need to remove part of the picture. So I'm going to say I want to remove the elephant's head. So let's go again to crop and then we're going to say fit. Now you need to get your mouse onto the little black rectangle there and now that's going to let me start to trim this picture. So I'm going to take it right back to the edge of the ear there. Okay, And then I'm going to click outside of the box and there is our trimmed photograph. Now we're going to bring back the other photograph. And again, click on it under picture tools. We're going to say remove background. Now it's done a pretty good job of already removing the background, but we don't need all of this. So I'm going to sort of shrink it down there a um, little bit further down and maybe pull it back about halfway. So that's, we've got to pull it back um, to a point in that other picture where we can see everything. So I'm going to say about there looks spot on. Wow, we've actually got away with murder there. It seems to have done a damn good job of um, removing the background, probably because I chose bright green. But let's just see if we can tidy it up a little bit. Um, we have two buttons. If we wanted to remove the background, we would start using the remove button. But I actually need to tell PowerPoint, no, you're missing a couple of pieces here. Not much, but I need you to keep that part of the body. Done a good, is that it? One click and I'm done. Pretty unusual. Um, are we missing a little bit of the trunk? We could be. I'm back then to see. No, I'm actually for now, for the purpose of training, I'm going to use that. Normally, you would be click, 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 clicking to say keep, and often click, 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 clicking to remove until you've got this image um, tidied up for your needs. So there we go. So that's a pretty good job. Stick to pictures with bright green grass. I'm now going to click off that image and we're going to drag it across. And what you'll see now happens is we've suddenly got a really nice 3D image. Our elephant seems to be climbing out of our photo. So that's how you can play around with um, making a boring image look quite impressive by making it look 3D. I hope that's useful.